and here yeah. we go. It's gosh darn time, god darn tootin' it, damn it. It's D and D. Welcome. Woo. Time for D and D. I, I walked ready. away from my phone to have the effect of like screaming from the distance. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the music bot's so loud, help me. So, I bet you're all doing well? Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing a lot better now that you're here, Ambo. Without Aww. you here, hole in my heart. <laughs> well, it's it's been a little it's been it's been a little bit, I would say. It's been been some time. But uh, I'm excited to get started with session nine here. Does anyone have any cool things they uh any cool things they did over the two weeks they'd like to share? I lost my computer, <laughs> so I'm voice chatting on my phone. For those of you in Twitch chat that don't know, um, Fancy and I got married in Final Fantasy. Oh, that did, that did happen. Yeah. Oh my god! Congratulations, guys. I missed it <laughs> because I don't have my computer. We also it's don't a, play on the same servers, so it, it, it was a, it was very shotgun weddingy. We had uh, n not many plans. <laughs> yeah. And it took place at like two a.m. for me, <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, that's Same. what I hope. Like, if, if I ever get married, as astronomically low chance as that is, I hope it's, like, in the dead of night. <laughs> I remember my mom telling me, this is very irrelevant to anything, but I remember my mom telling me the story about how her and my dad got married. Mm -hmm. She was, like, literally a week off from having my older sister. Um, and my dad just, like, get in the truck, we're going somewhere. So they drive to this dude who was mo who my mom says was most likely high um, in his house and they got married in his living room because he was he is legally able to officiate it oh my gosh <laughs> that is the most that's american thing that's the most american thing i've ever heard uh, yeah, really. <laughs> whoa <laughs> nice. I don't know what that was that was my chair that was, that was my chair yeah, yeah. Sure, that was your chair and not the thing sitting in it. Empo out here just ripping that. It's my chair. Okay. Um... Also, before we begin, happy belated birthday to Steph. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Because, happy late birthday. Because, it, because your birthday was this week, you will get what we call birthday inspiration in a deer so for this campaign uh for this session only uh one role you make you can turn into a natural 20. so if you want to learn something you want to you want to do something really pivotal you can okay. uh you can apply it to uh you can apply your birthday inspiration to the role <laughs> so well shit. i was gonna not tell y'all when my birthday was so info didn't make a big deal out of it but i'm also gonna want that birthday inspiration when the time comes See, the thing yes. is, the issue is with birthday inspiration, if you want birthday inspiration, uh, Empel makes sure that we don't have sessions on your birthday week, and <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's just gonna well, be no, a coincidence. What you guys don't know is, well, I say what you guys don't know, me and Steph talked about this just for the funny light, mm -hmm. right? I checked my calendar, right, mm -hmm. and my birthday falls upon a Saturday. So if we're still mm -hmm. going at Saturdays at this time, we're gonna be going during my birthday. It's I'm gonna Amazing. be eating cake during D and D, and then later that night, my family's probably gonna go try and get me drunk. But then I'll end up being the designated driver because I don't drink that much. Because <laughs> it's my 21st birthday. Oh yeah. Um, Hell yeah. Trying to think Hell what yeah, happened brother. last session as a recap. Speaking of, would someone oh, we, like to do a recap? We, we sat around the table and we discussed the future of the Hildren Estate. We've now named the island Ireland because we could. Because we could. And um, Ampo basically laid out all the base building mechanics for us. And I believe we all came to the consensus that we're going to spend gold on improving the dock and rebuilding the lighthouse. Yeah. Yeah. For trade. Oh, and then as it turns out in my dream that frickin' Tobias Hildren's still alive and he came to me in my nightmares and it's like, ah, oh, fuck you. I think I have something written down about meeting, meeting a, gr a dream guide named Karen. Oh yeah, the, the, the fish. My dream fish. Yeah. So you uh, guys, 
You guys were building the, you were improving the dockyard and what else for your, uh, for your, for your um, points? I, this is what the I'm remembering, lighthouse. but I was fairly, yeah, yeah, I was fairly certain gone. that we decided upon rebuilding the lighthouse and improving the dock. And if I'm incorrect, well, we should have a journal somewhere about it. I'm yeah. pretty sure we that, that's what we agreed upon. Yep, and we have enough. Oh yeah, we have too. 75 research points. Mm -hmm. So we research can spend on learning. Research. Yes. I know, but we can use it to re- Yes, but we need to use it to research. <laughs> uh, and Kijo, what, what, what station- Did you pick your station yet? I don't think I could. I thought I needed gold to do that. Oh, Wait. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think I have the base tier one table, and then if I want to improve on that, that's why Ida was selfish with her gold. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, hold on. I'm just I'm just writing it in a thread so you have it in the Discord. Um, Damn it! I turned the music bot down too much. Now I can't hear it. Base. Oh, it's good at game. I can also add it to the journal too, what it's at, so I don't lose track of it in there. Yeah. All right. So about a week of downtime has passed. We're now at the point of the campaign, since we're going to be primarily base building, that a lot of downtime will be going on, which means you guys could use the roleplay chats if you want to do any roleplay in between. Speaking of roleplay chats, I believe there were some conversations in the roleplay chats. If anyone wants to give a quick recap on, if anyone wants to give a quick recap on those, Mm. Are we allowed to info? <laughs> yeah, you're allowed. It was old. P it was old PG. Of them that might not be Twitch friendly. That's yeah, fine. Um, worry, for the record, I I may be the one saying there were some that weren't Twitch friendly, but I I took part in none of them because I was busy at the time. So you're good. Well, we can get some well, more play for you then. We start. We we started with the. Uh... Fee and Lorelei cleaning up dishes after the big party, which led to some touching moments. And yes, some touching moments, some relevation, relations, and a lot of other stuff. <clears throat> and then at, at one point, almost half the crew was in, was in the kitchen. After bursting down the door. Everyone wanted food. I needed bread. Yeah, yeah I wanted you, bread. You, you came in for bread. Yeah, Barrett came in for bread and joined the Yeah, dinner had just ended. They all went to the kitchen for food. Mm -hmm. And then and then Gallant kicked the door down. And then we had oh we had we, we had some nice moments telling Fee that Fee is awesome. Fee's amazing. Yeah. Fee is just dumbfounded, doesn't know how to deal with this, and just went off to go and, and sleep. If, if I remember correctly, there was a moment where Lorelai was like, Yeah, yeah, Fee, you make trees look cool. <laughs> yes, I did say that. Uh. Looks at the creepy, old, creepy tree. Are you sure that looks cool to you? She's the one that made a beehive out of a corpse, so... Yeah. Well, no, he was still alive when the beehive was made. The beehive is his corpse. Yeah, well, yeah. Um... Yeah, and then it was... Uh, I think Rao came in and we're like, yeah, we're a... La Familia! <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and, and then, uh... Lorelai and Gallant had a moment. They're, they're, had a lot they're... more than that. <laughs> a lot more. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm gonna shut up now. Well, yeah. I mean, I think that that explains eno it enough. Yeah. <laughs> they had yeah, a moment, their relationship was established. Yeah, yeah, Ra went for a walk uh, and checked the estate, and then I, I joined Ra and chatted with Ra for a bit, and then I think Gallant showed up a bit after... <laughs> That and Lara Light be like, show. oh, yeah, just being yeah. like, oh man, I'm tired for all the stuff I did last night. A thousand years gives you such a click in the neck. Yeah, um, <laughs> cool. Yeah, and I, Ira had Ira's side room for <clears throat> turkiness. I like how 
Oh, oh that's right. I read Jagged had a cute moment. I just skipped over a lot of it. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Ira and Jagan also had a moment. Yeah. Nice, wholesome. Wholesome, wholesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, no. More than... This isn't in character, but we all, but all of us out of character also discussed boob sizes in between sessions, so... God damn that it. was fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> boob. But Empo, were, Empo, were you not a part of that conversation? No. No, no. No, he wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't. Boob no! In my D &D? When did we discuss boot sizes? <laughs> uh, boots! Boom yeah, yeah, boot! Shoe, shoe sizes, right, guys? You were part of that! No, yeah! No, no, no. Do you remember Steph oh, was trying to figure out everyone's oh, bust okay. size? Um, right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Moving on. Anyway. Anyways. <laughs> uh, that's... I can't believe none of us told Empo. Yeah, Steph wanted to know everyone's boob sizes for reasons. Mm. Oh, oh, we even have a full on like. Nah, so, oh, so, yeah, all, right. Right. all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. With, I believe the last thing that happened was there was Rao, myself, and Gallant. Uh, Gallant and Rao decided that the next thing they wanted to do, possibly during the downtime, was talking to the people in town. And I was going to look for something that I could grow a plant and or tree with. Okay. All right. Let us begin with what you guys, uh, what you guys have done during your downtime. So mm -hmm. uh, this can be in the way of like, oh, I wanted to do something in this, so you can potentially gain some kind of effect. Um, like, mm -hmm. let's just do Badzy for example, because it's going to be quick and concise. You wanted to find yeah. a seed, correct? Mm-hmm. Give me a survival check. Sweet, can do. I know I have an exact nothing bonus on that. Um. Where is Roll a nat 20 for me. <laughs> cool. <laughs> First roll of the session! First roll in several weeks! Roll a nat yep. 20 real quick. Oh, I see souls there now. That's cool. Uh, yeah, Marshall's right above it. Sorry, was it a survival on oh, nature? I, I, just, I completely forgot. Uh, either or. Uh, I'll do survival then. Isn't there a bonus for being near one of the trees or something for survival? I'm just double checking in the estate. Um, I'd say the the honey thing, the the beehive had something for uh, yeah, survival check. I think the, it's just for foraging. Yeah, well, actually, while, while looting in this area, you gain advantage on survival. Are we close enough to the honey tree? And is this looting? <laughs> Technically, you're looting the earth. So yeah, go for it. Woohoo! Advantage! <laughs> I, lo I love technicalities. Okay. <laughs> Technically correct. Uh, with advantage. Best way to be correct. Nope. Doing great, oh. king. Okay. Yeah. Doing great, guys. The king Very has awesome. popped off. Um, you find a simple, simple oak tree sapling. This'll do. Uh, I will... I, I, I believe I was having Buddy drag a pot into the closet and I will put my little sapling in its pot in the closet. <laughs> oh, okay. So so for further reference, uh, those Jade Honey Hive bonuses only affect followers of the Jade Queen. Oh, okay. Cool. So just, but, uh, so just that's, Lorelei. That's fine. Well, if yeah. Lorelei wants to uh, expand the... the the uh, fa oh the patronage. Yeah, you church. can completely try that. Yeah, All right. Yeah. So that is <laughs> that is Barrett done. Cool. Anyone else want to do anything during their downtime? Uh, a couple things. I, I don't know if this is going to be in a mechanical thing, but I'd mm -hmm. probably just spend time talking to my dream fish and trying to figure out how the heck this being a dream night actually works. You know, is there like things I have to do, or is it just on a whim? Oh, hey, there's a nightmare over there. Stab. And also see if some... And also see if Feast could maybe relay a message to someone important that Tobias is not actually dead, like I thought. Who did you want to relay that I'm message sorry. to? It's, honestly, Maxim would just say, someone important, you know, like, maybe that freaking cat, dream maiden, whatever, that Knighted me. It's, it's look. I'm not gonna pretend I understand anything. I'm just trying my best here. All right. They will relay the message. 
and I believe Unless you have anything else you want to do which you could you could think on you don't have to decide now um yeah, I know what, what, I... Did, what did you want to do? Uh, I thought I had the base table pinned, but I'll get back to that in a second first um... is can I go ahead and should I go ahead and deduct that gold from the journal or is that something that happens over time and I don't deduct that yet from the Hilder and estate and all that for the crafting table? No, for the we I know we repaired the broken lighthouse and the dockyard. Oh, uh, yeah, j just uh, for ease of access. Just do that now okay. that we don't remember that, that we don't forget. Done. All right. <clears throat> and then <coughs> no, I'm gonna it is it is that. pinned. It is pinned. Oh, it is. <laughs> of course, it's pinned. My Come bad. on. Uh, and then, uh, OK, so I know <clears throat> at the end of Ida's room, I uh, did detect magic to see what type of magic was in that ingot. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that ha or if that takes more time than just that. So, the hmm, the magic in the ingot would be the shade of cobalt, which is life and death magic. Okay, I'll write that down. And then, how long is this downtime? A week. Okay. If you want, you can spend you can spend your full week to learn to learn about the material, but it would also require it also expend some of your research points. I actually think she doesn't know a whole lot about life and death. I don't know if she'd chase that down super hard for now. She'd probably try and find small odd jobs and help out people where she could if there's something broken or something like along those lines. Since okay. It's pretty shattered here and she's aware of that. She's probably going to try and uh, do that. that so makes sense. you you've actually um, you actually went under the tutelage or you you accepted a quest under the under. Well, not under anyone, but uh, you you accepted a job by Farmer Sen, one of the farmers outside the Hildren Estate or the mm. Ireland Estate, um, mentioning something along the lines of an abandoned watchtower of sorts. Mm. And when you went in there, it was completely abandoned. But you also didn't feel entirely safe. Mm -hmm. So perhaps it's something you might want to explore with more people than just you. Okay. Uh, in the center of the in the center of the watchtower is a motionless body almost as if it was frozen in time okay concerning if I detected that could I tell what magic is if there's magic causing that or what type that is on a detect magic you would get the sense that there's a lack of a soul there mm. that is causing it to be to act weird it is okay. a completely metallic figure um akin to that of a robot or a construct but constructs in this world have the chance to become alive or have the chance to live a life but this one appears to be just be frozen locked in time And then... And the watchtower is on the northeast side of the island. So if you go back to the uh, to the Hilderin Island, which... I don't know if you guys... Hold on, let me see. You guys should be able to go there, right? Or no? Uh, what's the I name don't of it? see the map. There you go. I, just, oh, I opened it. I see it now. Oh, is vision I... enabled? Uh, let, me, let me remove vision. North All right. East? Uh, yeah, so it would be this way. Nice. Okay. Uh, and okay. Then... Well, I know I'll <clears throat> Empo, I moved to the Hildurin map and I no longer see the Hildurin estate map. Oh, yeah, I got even in the list. Go you know? <laughs> All right, hold on. There we go. Thank nice. you. And then, um, one more question. So that's a bear. Yep. Uh, what would be the research points to try and research this small piece of metal or ingot? If I can write that down. It's it's a minor question. It would be five. Okay. It goes up in 
scales of five. Okay. Oh, hallelujah. And Thank you. How do... Sorry, guys. These are like mechanics questions. I'm curious. Take all the time um, you need. Research points. Do these refresh after a certain period of time based on our... They uh, stats or is it just is this just what we started with and we earn them through other things they generate every month but you can also okay. you can also earn them through having technological advancements like yep. think of like research from civ where you gain uh, research points yep but they <laughs> also you. based off of your party intelligence you gain 75 a month makes sense so if you had a party okay. of brainiacs you would get like you it's possible you can get into the hundreds makes sense me not smart. <laughs> me, me no she smart. Hardly, well, I'm pretty sure the only one here that um, is smart is Ira. If there's spare points at the end, I'd probably use those spare points on this before the month refreshed. But other than that, I would probably just notify uh, Gallant and Barrett and Rao about this watchtower with this weird body in it. That is in stasis, and that's all. That's all the downtime I got. I'd probably also play with the turkey. Gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> I really like I... saving things that Raul wants to kill. <laughs> Touch it again. Yeah. Hold on, let me. True, truly a miserable <laughs> existence. <laughs> Wait, is that? Did that get hidden? What the fuck happened there? What? Why is that? Hold on, I'm trying to... I'm, I'm trying to figure out why it's not staying. Oh, it is staying. I'm just, I'm just dumb, I guess. I'm, I'm a dummy. You're a digital, a digital dummy. I'm a digital dummy. <laughs> All right, let Wait, me. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't say mean things about my friend, please. Oh, okay. Um. Hey, hey, you have access to the tool to draw on the map, right? Yes, sir. Um, I need in the bottom right the two of these words crossed out and a letter and i need an r and an e oh okay okay uh yeah. hold on <laughs> oh <laughs> can i can i fill that i just realized this map's on a proper grid so we could refer to specific squares like the watchtower being like l4 <laughs> or some shit. i don't know i don't know if that's actually where it is but i remember the x being near about that area that's yeah, awesome. yeah, yes, there that's you yes. You you can you we can, can play battleship on this map. You can <laughs> someday. Yo, Empo, there better be like a siege at some point that we have to fend off. You know, I don't want to be sieged. Yet. We have we to build the place up. Well, not yet, but like sometimes, sometime in the future. Oh so, shit, I just typed, say, I typed the same thing. You just typed it back in. He's taunting us! <laughs> <laughs> this guy, look at him. I typed the same thing again. Uh, and then finally, hold on, I, I'm, I'm slow when it comes to Foundry. Um... <laughs> Bless you, sir. Thanks you, for uh, indulging my meme. <laughs> there we go. There's an abandoned watch there. Right there. Nice. The island um, of Ireland. Ire Ire Island. Yep. <laughs> all <laughs> right. Let me move you all back over to the estate. Because we got some real business to do. Oh, uh, yeah. That is both Ida and Barrett done. Who wants to go through uh, and also core? Uh, who wants to do their downtime next? Mm. Uh, I guess I will do it. Uh, we just okay. You said uh, we. <laughs> oh geez. Uh, we every every single night. Uh, we took like, a 
on seas under under the boy tree, so it's been a week. That means I get something uh, voided. Yes, sir. On my, yep. Yeah. I believe you get one of your spells voided. Uh, if I remember correctly, you s it said that I get one of my features, but oh, if I yeah. stay at if I stay a week under the tree. Indeed. Uh, so, uh, which of your race features do you want to pick? Ooh, race features. Okay, then. A class wants features. What do I want in my, uh... Ah. Uh. Uh, my f uh, blessing of the moon weaver. All right. That will turn into that will turn into the blessing of the voidkin. And let me add that over here. I'll just rewrite the blessing of the Moonweaver. It's nice to see, like, the island moving and being alive. It's cool. <laughs> uh. And Blessing of the Voidkin gives you this. Ooh. Whenever you cast a spell or cantrip that is done through an attack roll, uh, so, like, if you were to do Primal Savagery, for example, uh, you may add an additional 1d4 plus 1 force damage to the roll per spell level after the cantrip. So cantrips will deal 1d4 plus 1, sp uh, first levels will deal 2d4 plus 1, so on and so forth. Hot damn. Oh. Gee, okay. thanks for uh, carrying us in advance. Um, yeah, and I guess, I guess void damage is damaging spell so i was like oh what if uh fee cast a healing spell on one of us <laughs> but yes as it, it does say attack roll mm -hmm. <laughs> uh let it let, let's see can i can i do this uh i was just laughing if he like goes to heal one of us ends up healing us with three damage rolls max damage <laughs> damage and injures <laughs> us <laughs> oh shit <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> how much gold do you guys currently have um, oh wait, never mind. I can't do that. Never mind, dummy. I'm a dummy. Just dead. Disregard we me. Have, we have like 250 gold in the estate. I don't know how much gold each of us has left in reserves that we didn't hand over. I don't think we did hand any money over because mm. we agreed not to do that. Mm. Okay. So does that mean I lose my innate spell casting for sleep and invisibility, right? No. You keep them. Oh. It's in addition. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna take them. I'm not gonna take them from you. Okay. But, and. But. For the advan for the incisive sense, I will take away that ability to roll, 
investigation and insight checks at advantage. So keep that in mind. But it will it will also be changed to something in a similar vein. Okay. Cool. Let's see if any fucky fucky vo void things happen while you roll under the tree, as you attempt to infuse oh your spell, or attempt to infuse yourself with the power of the void. Make me a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, that's never a good sign. Sixteen. Uh. Hey, that's pretty good. That succeeds. All right, your dexterity is increased by one. However, your charisma is lowered by one. Oh. So your dexterity is now bumped up to 17, but your charisma falls down to a 10. We, we take those. Okay. This Pretty is good. an absolute win! <laughs> Granted, it's not my character he's making changes to, so I guess I should be quiet. Uh, it's, it's a win for the team, but a big win for Bez. <laughs> Yay. Well, <laughs> it doesn't change any modifiers, but, you know, it could in the future. Yeah. Well, you could take a half feet and then gain the... Plus one dex for an 18. Yeah. Oh, what? You would have more dex than I would at that point. You don't even use it for much. I use it for literally everything. <laughs> Damn. Unlucky. Empo, can I just work out this week? <laughs> <laughs> Get buff. You can. That's, that's, yeah. that's, sar well, that's sarcasm. Like, shit. You can. Uh, is there anything that I can do also, or that would pro that would probably be your whole week, okay. unless unless there's anything minor you want to do. Nothing nothing big like that. Uh, oh, well, sleeping under the tree is at night time, so during the day I would like at least check the uh, plants if it also got affected by the boy tree. If there's any, if there's anything that's happening around the tree. Okay. Give me a nature check. It doesn't appear like, it doesn't appear to be that anything else around you is being infected by the void. In fact, it's almost like the tree is a stabilization for the excess void that's in the area. So... It could be seen that the tree is taking in the excess void and keeping it, storing it within its bark so that it doesn't cause rifts and rifts and destruction across the island. It's just carbon dioxide, oxygen, yes. tree mode. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Love it. Fantastic. That is the power of void. He knows the rules, and so do oh, I. So <laughs> do I. And regardless, oh, that is the end of your downtime. Um, we got Lorelai, and we got Rao. Uh, Chomping at the bit. Well, I, th I, I think Lorelai would probably spend time with the, that hive that she made. Okay. And I thought you were gonna say I thought you were gonna say spend time with Gallant. I'm just like, I'm yeah, I think we know what they're. I think I think we know what they're doing all this week. Being nice to each other. Yeah, they're being nice. Caring. Yeah. Yeah. Sharing <laughs> is caring. Yeah, well, they definitely shared. No, they're, they're sharing no, a lot caring. now. Anyway, Laura, like, go ahead. Anyway, um, I, I aside from spending time with Gallant, Laura would probably be uh spending time with the the beehive that she made mm -hmm. and just you know like investigating it all right seeing how how how, how do all righty let me oh i believe this is still it's still raining here actually let perfect let's check the weather rain for me rain please please I'm begging you. Rain. So I don't have to change it. I don't want to change it. Alright, so I 
I believe we're using the hard oak tables for this. It is in fact a cloudy day. Not raining though. So I grumble. Is it is the rainbow still there? Uh this tree the boat this tree was destroyed, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, did, so, yeah. Wasn't there a big old hole blasted through it and you're like, oh, it magically transformed into an archway. Maybe you can turn this into a portal. Oh, perhaps. Yeah. And Empo and Empo tried the cra the classic toot, toot, open sesame. Oh it yeah. Did not work. Abracadabra and whatnot. That's one of my favorite scenes. Literally just going up to a portal. Two, two, open sesame. Well, I've done all I can do. Uh, let me, let me make sure the clouds just feel like they stand out a little bit more. And we're going to change the direction. All right, there we go. As you begin investigating the beehive, give me a religion check, please. 16. The, the bees begin to swarm around you, Lorelei, and they form a visage in the mist, in the mist and clouds, a familiar and welcoming form. What is it with all the frickin' deities we've met this campaign? Like, this is like the fifth one. <laughs> you got a warlock, man. They meet their patrons and stuff. I don't know. I don't yeah. fucking know. Well, so it was like, Iris met two, Fee met one via the frickin' mirror when she uh, blinded a person. Uh -oh. I met a dream maiden. I don't know if that counts for anything in this I, department, but... I heard a god. I heard another god laughing. I pulled upon Torin. <laughs> my, my god. Oh, that's Hello. right. You got Void Ooh. Guy, and then you also listened yeah. to Ooh. freaking Sun Ooh. Bitch be like, oh, yeah, blind him. Great job. Wait, what did I hear? Uh, his... Ooh? Hello. Empo. Empo. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Hello there. General, you, you, you kind of sound like General Grievous. <laughs> General Kenobi. Let's <laughs> see. Let's see. Okay. I think that works. Maybe. Yep. I think it works. It works, unless he's trying to talk now, in which case. <laughs> oh, God. Hello, my dear. Oh, it always sounds like bees buzzing as he talks. That's awesome. You are a curious soul. I am. How are you feeling? I... I feel fine. You actually... Oh, oh god. Uh, you actually... Begin to feel a little nauseous. You've you've been feeling oh. like the the like in the back of your brain like slight nausea that it's slowly been getting a little bit worse over the week. Oh. Okay. <laughs> as well as uh. You've been very tired lately. A lot more than usual. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, well, 
I mean, I guess I have been feeling a little strange. I, I sure hope I'm not coming down with something. Every hive must have its queen and its drones. I believe the king and the queen might be having their first drone soon. Queen, who exactly are you referring to? Ha ha, ha ha. I think you know who I, who I am referring to. Oh, oh dear God. Lorelei, like, crouches down in a panic. I will guide you as best as I can, for I am a queen as well. <laughs> Eternally this, screaming. This yeah. is a time for strength. I wasn't expecting something like this so soon. Love can be very unexpected. And so can life. <sighs> Lorelei's gonna take a deep breath and get up. And Biscuit is, 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 is yep, B Biscuit's here now. I say that because Luna's scratching at my leg. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can hear her. Uh, meow! I'm gonna have a sibling! Meow! <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna have to let everyone know. You see the Jade Queen will begin to summon a spell around uh, their body, the little the little uh, the honey hive that resides over their, their long, uh, almost antennae across their face uh, to the left and right side of their head will begin to swirl with green magic. And you feel a tingle in your stomach. I have casted a protective spell to protect that that resides within. Please do not be reckless. I'll do my best. Thank you. Furthermore, I have work for you, if you so wish to take it. Well, assuming I can do it without acting recklessly, yes. Of course. There resides an abandoned island close to us. I believe the name of the island is... As Empo goes to look at his notes, give me a minute. <laughs> uh, it's... I just wanted to get the second part of it. I, it's Moku... 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 Moku Haku. Okay. Moga, 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 moga. <laughs> the, the, village, the village that resides on the island is named Mokuhaku. They share the same name. There resides an abandoned holy site. I wish for you to convert it for me to a hive of our own. 
I should be able to do that. I look forward to seeing your progress, Queen. And the figure of the Jade Queen will dissipate into thousands of small green bees as they will surround back into the hive. Lorelei is going to resume panicking. <laughs> Why are you panicking? Don't panic. No need to panic. Maybe. Maybe? Maybe. I mean, you know. Lorelai slightly terrified of what, what 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 it means to be having a child. You know. Considering settling down and everything wasn't something on her plan. And with child, that mm. That's why she's panicking. Fair point. Yeah. So do you make your way back to the Hildren estate or do you stay here for a yeah. bit? I, right. I think she'd make her way back now. Our party makes their way back to the Hildurin estate after the week of downtime, and I believe the last person we have on our list is Rao. So Rao, what you plan on doing during your week of downtime? I kind of wish I went before Lorelei now, because Rao's boring. She'd probably just have gone around the estate and figured out who's staying, who wants to go home, uh, who wants to leave, and just, you know, logistic-y things. Hey, that's not boring. It's important. So, what you've learned is that they're of the island, uh, like, of the people of the island, about 120 people are staying. Whether that be that they don't really remember their old life or their old life's gone to them or they've already built up their own life here. 120 people have decided to stay. Most of them are unskilled as Tobias didn't really want them forming any kind of skills that would lead to them doing a rebellion or having a successful rebellion. Hey, just like me. Have no skills. <laughs> Rebel. <laughs> Rebel! Um, <laughs> but Em, are you trying to imply that um, baking bread is not a skill which can lead to rebellion? Uh, compared to being a blacksmith or being an mm, artisan... I don't know. I, it's very important, but most of the people here are farmers, are farmhands or deckhands, uh, various sailoring, uh, sailors, ships, uh, tradesmen who trade goods to abroad. You do meet someone at the docks, however. And I will, um, I do not have a dock map, but I can take you to the Hildren map instead. Cool. So there, there, there's a, there's no, there's no snipping on this map. So you're able to just, you're able to just move around like normal. Um, okay. The feet conversion here is not right at all. Uh, so this is not 13 feet to, uh, to the yeah. Hillary Estate. It's more like a couple hundred. I, I'm not a giant squishing the houses. Got it. Okay. You're not. Yeah. Uh, one of the first people off the ship, you notice a teal to chai with many different wounds across his body. His horns have been cut, not bleeding, but the sapphire gems have been dented, causing them to lose some of their value to the person. Their robes 
look tribal in nature, but tattered, burned by flame, and soaked in ash. He appears to be old and battle-hardened, wielding a large katana that is uh, sheathed across his stomach. His tail, interestingly enough, is split into three different tails, akin to that of a displacer beast or a hydra. He walks up to you and immediately takes note. You, Yoro Tachai. Yeah, I met the Chai and she'll whistle back. So, uh, to make it easier, uh, this conversation will be exclusively into Chai, but I'm not going to whistle at Nedra for <laughs> 10 minutes. So, uh, it, it, this will just be spoken, but just use the theater of the mind that they that it, it is done through whistles for thematics let me I, change I the music because he is i can't whistle anyway so oh, okay you have to imagine it sick let me skip the music over to here because this guy got a sad theme you oh, no. you're one of our kin where do you hail from? Uh, the Swamplands. Ah, you are a Swamp Brethren. Good, good, good. I come with urgent news. And he, and he kind of stumbles forward through a crowd of people, uh, a wound reopening, causing it to begin to bleed again. Uh, maybe we should bring you back first and we can treat you. My mission is more urgent than my than my life. My village, the village of Mokohaku has been burned by oh, human, bitch. by human raiders. <clears throat> our temple, How convenient. our temple of a shy burned by heathens and heretics and i wish i wish for you to come help our titan died with no children and so we are left helpless and defenseless all right okay um Well, first things first, we're gonna save you. And then I'll figure out how to f help your village. My life is not a priority. I am at the end of my lifespan. Are you by yourself? There's actually another to chai with me, but I don't think... Yeah, there are other people with me. I can ask them for help. And, um... Uh... All life is precious, and... You're not gonna throw yours away just because... You think it's not important. <clears throat> Compared to so, that yeah. of the young and youthful spirit... I'd rather them be saved than my old, decrepit self. I am simply an old swordsman that can no longer wield his weapon. But you, you have that youthful energy. One that can help us take our village back. Right, okay, okay. Uh, Mokuhaku. Uh, you're coming with me to stay at the estate first, and I'll bring help. He'll begrudgingly nod, and he will, uh, using the sword as a cane, 
will walk himself over to the estate, I assume guided by you. Yes, I'll help him, because I don't want this cool dude to die. <laughs> Saving the cool dude. Check. Yeah. Okay, um... Oh, look at that side quest. I was supposed to look at the agriculture thingies, but this is more important now. So, as you guys can see, there are multiple quest lines that are being opened up for the remaining half or the remaining ha half ish of your of your season. So, uh, you guys can follow these plot lines if you wish, or you can make your own. That's the amazing thing about D&D. Some of them align, some of them contrast. But I am excited all the less. As um, Sensei Otoza, uh, who he introduces himself on the way back. Pardon my rudeness. I am Sensei Otoza. It is a pleasure to meet you. And who are you? I'm... I'm... Rao. You are, you are an autumn to Chai, correct? Yes. Your passion is fiery. And he will continue to just continue to hobble forward into the estate. A week has passed and the party has decided to congregate back in the dining room. To catch up. Empo, may I may I take this moment to interject because I have thought of a thing sure. I would like to ask that isn't necessarily for downtime, but it'd probably take place within the week. Sure. Um, I just didn't want to interrupt nobody. Uh, how's uh how how's Korm Korma feeling about all this situation? <laughs> I imagine she would have woke up sometime. With yeah, Kor week. Korma Korma woke up. Uh, Korma's unsure of what she wants to do. She's unsure of what's real and what's fake um, in regards to her life, if she actually made this deal or not. She doesn't know. Fair enough. <laughs> that, that was it. Okay. I mean, I, I mean, we can talk more uh, yeah. if you want, but I didn't have anything immediate I could think of saying, so. That's fine. Korma, Korma's just lost in thought most of the time. You just see her, she's staring up into space. And then the party meets in the dining room. I'm bringing the turkey. Let's go. You're bringing the turkey? All right. Oh, I'm bringing the turkey. I thought you were trying to hide the turkey. It. I feel like it would have been found after this week. I'm not very quiet with it. <laughs> Uh-oh. The, oh, the sounds of furious gobble-gobbles can be heard from Ira's room. <laughs> Do turkeys have scruff? Probably not. <laughs> this one does. <laughs> just, gr just, just grab it by the neck. <laughs> Actually, no, you probably couldn't grab it by the neck. I think it's bigger oh, than you. Wait, where did Derek? How big was the turkey again? When you bring the turkey into the dining room, Rao's gonna pull out one of her hand axes and just like be testing the blade of it. Not They're doing not, anything. They're not gonna hurt you, I promise. Gobble, 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 gobble. Keep your, keep your table manners like we talked about. Gobble, 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 <laughs> gobble. <laughs> what have you been teaching the turkey? Well, yeah, about. Table Babara, manners, apparently. Yeah, but Barra would just turn to uh, to Iron and spell, but Wow, the turkey was alive? I had no idea this whole time. I'm pretty good with the hiding. She's not. <laughs> Roll a deception <laughs> check. <laughs> I think she's more, like, unknown to the fact that she's not good with it. <laughs> I've been in my room under the stairs this whole time, but I never even heard you once. <laughs> that, that's true. It might be all the noise from all the stairs. It, you know, it, it shakes quite a lot. <laughs> oh man. 
I would. I just thought of something stupid, but like all stupid ideas, I'm gonna go for it. Oh. <laughs> I have not, I have... What well, was your idea? Well, why, don't you, why don't you tell us what the stupid idea was, Colin? And I well, wonder how well it went. I was. I, the stupid idea was I was gonna roll to see if I, I have fallen down the stairs any this week. Hmm. I think I've yeah. probably fallen down the stairs Every more than time. I've walked down the stairs. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Uh, Maxim does not. <laughs> Ma Maxim does not understand stairs. <laughs> Maxim does not. Maxim, these stairs and Maxim do not jive. Mm -hmm. You know what it probably is. I'm probably used to being on the ship, so the fact that these stairs are steady is throwing me <laughs> off. So I just, yeah. I just overshoot it. Just ah, pum, pum, ah, pum, 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 no, all what? the way down to the bottom. No wonder my room's always now shaking. <laughs> Yeah. It's like Kung Fu Panda, you know, that <laughs> scene where he's just falling down the stairs. <laughs> Actually, that happened <laughs> multiple times. Boom! They'll just bounce, like, boom, 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 bang. Yeah. <laughs> I think it uh, be, be implied as well that I was uh, watering and taking care of the the tree in my room. <laughs> it's gonna it's burst make, through the stairs and... <laughs> make Making it a little shrine and stuff for now. <laughs> yeah. And do, doing some praying and stuff. Gallant will burst through the door with energy. <laughs> he didn't even open the door. <laughs> just, oh, he didn't even, right. open, <laughs> he didn't even open the door. There's just now a gallant-shaped impression it's, in it. It's been a fucking week, and I missed a lot of you. Good morning, Captain. So what have you been doing? Good morning. Good Captain. How can you miss us? I miss you every day. I don't see you all. Where we've my... seen us every day. Shit. I've been Unless... falling down the stairs a hell of a lot. I don't know what's wrong with those stairs, but I can't walk up and down them. <laughs> oh, man. He gives Lorelai a side glance and then looks to everyone else. All right, so what have you been doing for the week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, he knows what Lorelai's been doing. <laughs> um... I guess he knows what he has also been doing. That being Lorelai. <laughs> Mm. Lorelai's uh, just gonna pet Biscuit. <laughs> oh god. If we find out, it's because Biscuit outs you <laughs> anyway. Um... <laughs> Not like you can understand what he's saying. Mm. That's true. Uh, that's fair, yes, of course. Um... Yeah. I, I don't know if we just inform so, Gallant of what we've been doing to start to, no, so we don't repeat ourselves. Is there no one telling me what they did for the week? Give me the, give me the shorthand and notes or something. Why are you all bringing like people into our house? You want to leave of absence? The fuck's that? It means I want to go somewhere else for a while and then come back later. Why? Because there's a village of Tichai who need help. There's a village- he will immediately stand up. There's a village of Tichai that need help. I'll come. Oh, okay. So I didn't need to file a leave of absence. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> oh, no, I, I- I told- I told you, Rao. I- I want to- I want to help the, uh, the Tichai as much as I can. Any Be chance to help the people is a good one for me. People in trouble, Captain. It, it sounds like they need some pirates. <laughs> um, we're not pirates. We're not pirates, Barrett. We're good people. Okay. The friendly, friendly Please don't pirates. talk with your mouth. <laughs> what? 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 you do you, Captain. You do you. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. We haven't done anything really piratey yet. We are law-abiding citizens. Exactly, Captain. And it is our duty to help these people. Also, I'm a little bit bored. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I haven't done much, except for doing push-ups. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, can't. Uh, I, I, I already spoke to you, Captain, about that. Like. The, the, the floorboards, uh, my room, the, the creaking. I don't know if we can get some. I, the, the soundproofing exists. I just, I just need less noise. 
Lorelei's just going to aggressively pet Biscuit more. I was gonna write that down in her notebook. See if she can come up with anything. <laughs> You're gonna soundproof my closet. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, Barrett, do you want me to make you deaf? I'm I'm just going to look at Gallant and I'm really gonna like think about the context for this. It's like, am I going to die? Am, am I am I the new Grim Reaper? You won't be soundproof, I soundproof? Deaf? Deaf with a deaf with a PH. Will it will it hurt? Oh, it may be a little bit. I'm okay then. I would, I, you know, you know, Captain. If 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 you hurt me, I know you'd be the one in more pain. I true, true. I I would be in severe pain. Mm. Not I'd as be much. Death one. <laughs> I've been in pain I've recently. You've been in pain, Captain. Um, oh yeah, I have been. <clears throat> I um. Where is it? I cast healing word. Oh, thank you, Barrett. And you watch as uh, you send the word bread into his stomach, <laughs> and his muscles ripple with uh, adrenaline. Damn. There you go, there yeah. you go Captain. Of course, I max fucking roll, but it's not. <laughs> Oh well. Uh, of course you max roll for the memes. Yeah. I feel better already. And he continues doing push-ups and the floorboards begin to creak. Captain, uh, hold, hold uh, back a bit. Rao's room is on the ground floor and mm. she likes sleeping outside. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I'm uh <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm fully of like the belief that Gallant's body doesn't have any like limiters, so he uses his muscles to like full capacity. So he he's injuring himself because he he fully uses a hundred percent of his are you brain. Saying Gallant has one for all. <laughs> yeah, he's, hearing his Gallant has one for all. Yeah, well, yeah, he's using a hundred percent of his brain, and like everyone else, and he's still that stupid. Is that a door knock? Oh, okay. Oh. It's jagged. All thaumaturgy had open. <laughs> oh! You watch as the door explodes open as Jagan just stands there with like a puff of smoke and like puffs up his hair. Oh, oh. Oh. He, Good gotta, morning. he does like that flinch to like just gather his thoughts. Um, I. Oh, yeah, Jagan, that's you. You have visitors. Visitors? A couple of them. Ah, shite. Ah, shite. That can only be a bad thing. Let's win. There's plenty of chairs. Do you want me to send them in one by one? There's a little bit of people. Um, you, you can bring them in one by one. They might not want to tell the information to everyone else. It might not, you know, it might, it might be private or embarrassing. So they should tell it to all of us at the table instead of the other <laughs> guests. <laughs> we, we wouldn't want to put them in an awkward situation. <laughs> all right. And the first person who walks in is an old human farmer. His body is calloused and wrinkled. You can tell that he's been living his life on the farm for a majority, if not all of his life. He walks in with a small hat, and you notice that he shakes a little bit when he walks. I mean, respectfully, a 20-year-old uh, who's worked on a farm all of his life, you could say he looks like he's worked on a farm all of his life. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. hello. Um, I, I am Farmer Sen. Well, t take a seat, Farmer Sen. Is that the one I worked under? Indeed. Uh, Okay. Uh, can, can I can I point to the, the big purple seat at the front of the, the oh, table? No, no, I, <laughs> no, I, I no no I don't feel comfortable taking that seat. Then I'll take it then. <laughs> it's I'm, like when well, you are the buddy captain, you should be sitting there. I'm just happy that I have buddies sat in the other seat. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> and. Uh, Sen will, um, look forward. I, as I was doing some foreman, I, I, I tell you, I didn't, I, I didn't, wait, 
You were there with me, weren't you? And he points across the table. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the, the little, the little, the little ginger was here with me. We, we, we were, we were, we were, we were exploring the forest to, 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 uh, expand, expand, um, uh, uh, our, our farmstead. And we came across an old abandoned watchtower. Do you want to garner, uh, do you want to gather explorers for an expedition? Or would you like to handle it yourselves? If, if if you want, I can I can gather some friends, and for a little bit of a price, we can go in and check it ourselves. It's, it seemed a bit uneasy when I stepped in there. Are your friends capable? Uh, we're not saying that you know you and your friends are weak, Farmer Sen, but you know we we care about everyone on this island, and we wouldn't want to put you in any danger. <laughs> also, you and your friends might be weak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 we're, we're, we're a bunch of yeah, farmers. We're not weak. That was pretty harsh. Like, cheers, Baron. Got no chill, have you? Huh? Oh, they're shy. Hmm? Baron's like, head just spins to everyone. But we wouldn't want them to be hurt, guys, right? Friends? I think, I think honesty is probably the, the best choice here. I'm, I'm with Baron. It's, you know, he, you know, I didn't want to offend him. I'm, you know, I, he's a farmer. He's strong. They use plows. It's probably stronger than me. He could probably squish me into a ball. But it's it's about the, the other things that make up power. Uh, I should stop talking, uh, friends. <laughs> so is this like it's pick one? And the others kind of like get handled through other means or um, uh, if that makes sense for some of them yes but the more character driven ones um can be done th th this one is probably this the shortest side quest it's it's not a main quest it's a side quest so it'll only take you a mm -hmm. session or two there are a couple of them that are very short uh but specifically uh the ones uh with rao and lorelei might be a little bit longer uh some of them are interconnected as well like those two um, like like Rao and Laura, like. Mm -hmm. So this one, this one can be handled by adventurers if you wish to hire any, or you could hire, you could do it yourself, and it could, we could spend like a session going through the mini side quest. We could um, ask him to step back outside for a bit and consider what everyone else has to say. Um, I like that. You can help yourself to food in the kitchen. Oh, I, I actually made things for you all. Give me a minute. I, oh, I hope the friendship bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, walks, uh, he walks out and he begins to like hobble back in and you see there is a, a full basket of bread and he puts it on the table. You're not an orc. <laughs> what is this? No, but I, I, I do make bread from time to time. Hmm. Does it smell fresh? Yeah. Oh, fuck. It's actually pretty good. It smells pretty good. <laughs> For being bred by a mysterious vendor. It appears to be pretty oh, well. decent. I will grab. I will take a pea. I'll take one and I'll eat it. All right. Okay. Will you do the same, Barrett? I'm gonna watch Maxim first. All right. Maxim, you is take a bite of the bread. It is phenomenal. Holy, holy, swallows. Wow. Barrett, I'm starting to see why you love this stuff. That's gotta be the best damn food I've ever eaten. And that's saying something. It means that Laura lays the cook after all. I, I will immediately, with both hands, grab multiple more pieces of bread. Okay. With absolutely no chill of just, maybe you know, with absolutely no consideration of, you know, maybe I should leave this stuff to someone else. All my mind's full is like, hell, this is good. I, I don't believe I'm fast enough to stop 
Maxim from I'm not gonna get all of it. No, 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 but like, I'm not gonna say to stop you from grabbing the bread, I'll leave you that. But I try and get my own mage hand in front of his, uh, his mouth. Okay. <laughs> it was like, oh, this, 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 oh, it's too, oh god, it's just like knocked aside. <laughs> the chair. But, Maxim, you gotta stop going so fast that your chair is gonna explode. It's creaking so much. It can't handle the speed. From what it sounds. The chair does not break out from under me. <laughs> Rao's situation seemed a bit more uh, life endangering. Yeah. If I'm using the right words. Uh, Sin. What's the cost of a group of lackeys? Well, well, the, the they're they're on they're untrained, um, so I don't think they'll charge much. Maybe a hundred gold pieces. How about we put up signs to not go near it for the time being? <laughs> I feel like they're gonna die. <laughs> he mumbles. He mumbles something under his breath. You can make me a perception check if you wish to hear it. Yeah, sure. Let's see. Hmm. Where? Oh god, I'm all over the place with my with my thing. <laughs> or like, we all... Y yes, you you all can. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm being distracted by Maxim. Uh, perception, where is it? It is. Uh, oh. God. Those who roll above a 12 hear her say, wow, she's so stingy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but it, it didn't, it didn't seem like he said that like seriously, more like as a joke to himself. Well, I can certainly put up sides. It is no problem for me. <clears throat> but I just want you to ensure that it gets handled at some point. Who knows what could be in there? Is Dragon still outside the door? Uh-huh. Dragon, come here. He turns. <laughs> yes? There's a warehouse outside of town. There's a weird creepy thing in it that isn't moving. I don't even think it has a soul. If we hire this band, do you think you can help to protect them? I don't, I'm worried. Sure. Perfect. How does that sound, Sen? Sen nods vigorously. Not as bad. Uh, Ira will telepathically speak to Jagan. Uh, don't respond. But if it feels like it's too dangerous, don't hesitate to leave with them. He gives you like one of those, one of those dad nods or it's like super short. Okay. And Farmer Sen will leave to go into obscurity. Goodbye, Father Sen. I think that went well. <laughs> All right. Oh, this one. Oh God, this one. Okay. Imagine if this just turns into darkest dungeon and we just have to hire people to go into suicide missions no. every week. You also, feel Elmo, I said hmm? Go ahead, sorry. No no you go. I was just gonna say I was gonna say I typed this in the chat, but I suddenly remembered that, you know, before this week or before this that week of downtime uh Harless and Freda, you know, the the two that the language barrier is a bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. They were still at that outpost where we oh, landed. Yeah. So, Fr so Ira and I probably would have had to go get them at some point during this week. Yeah, they'll they'll be here, but they're just in the background. 
Mm. Okay, I just I just wanted it to be known and confirmed. Yeah. Because I suddenly remembered one thing I was going to try to do was teach Harless Common, but we'll save that for another time since <laughs> downtime is already over. So I'm glad I'm not the only one that that heard the ha ha in the fa in the background. <laughs> Thought I was going insane. Well, it's finally gotten hot. Yeah, it's about right. You feel a graceful presence enter the room. And your eyes immediately shift to someone with blue hair. Bright, bright blue hair and a little bit darker blue skin. They tiptoe to not make much noise. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is awkward. Hello, this is awkward. Doing? Oh, um. You can see that, um, around yeah, so her. Can I sense any, any, can I sense any dream nonsense around this person? Since that's a thing that I now know about. Hella dream well, essence. I... Hella. Hella. <laughs> you guys um, look at Maxim and she's just like, uh, like, uh, like concerned. You sense uh, around, or you see around her wrists. I like to think. Um, I like to think I can more smell it than like sense it magically. It's like, oh, oh I, yeah, that person smells like dream magic. I, I didn't finish her description yet, so uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm still running Never through. It's, it's all, it's all good. No, you're good. Uh, around her wrists, uh, those with perceptive eyes can see um, markings akin to like if someone were in chains and uh, mm -hmm. around her ankles as well um she looks very emaciated uh but she still has a bright smile on her face and she kind of like tiptoes tiptoes in and speaks very quietly hi uh, hi again i i i am i am sumera Nice to meet you. Samara, if you don't mind me asking, why do you smell of dream magic? I... I was born from two dream clerics. So, I have affinity towards the dream realm. Hmm. Um... Oh, okay, okay. I just... Uh, I, I've recently learned, even though I've got a bit of it myself, you know, sometimes you got to be careful of the shite. So I was just asking that of curiosity and concern. Let her sit down first. Yeah, yeah sit down, friend. Yes, and... yeah, take a seat, take a seat. Uh, shite, did I eat all the bread? Empo, did I eat all the bread? I'm going to yes. roll. Yeah. <laughs> oh, never mind, I'm not going to roll. It's like, ah, shite, I ate all the bread. Never mind. <laughs> And, 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 and Maxim, it, it's rude to comment on a, on a friend's smell. We've only just met them. Well, it was more the dream magic. We just had to deal with Tobias, so it's like, you, what do you want me to do? Just concern and, but, you know, it, uh, it's a matter you was it. You don't seem dangerous at all, so, you know, you're fine. You see, uh, you see she kind of like zones out as she just looks forward. Um, are you okay? I'll like, Where? I'll reverse John Cena hand in front of her face. It's like, hello? Uh -huh. With the, with the, with the mage hand. Ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, ah. Friend? Ah, oh, so, 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 sorry. Sorry. I'm assuming she was looking at me, right? Well, or she was, cat. it's kind of like that thing where she's looking at you, but like, She's zoning out, so she's just kind of looking in your general direction. And like looking for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a thousand, thousand yards there. Oh, that's called? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah that's that's what that is, a thousand um, yards there. Um. Uh, my, my father is, um. dead? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Who is your father? <laughs> Um, 
His his name is Tobias Hildevin. Oh, what a coincidence! <laughs> it, yeah, um, Maxim has that look on her face. It's like, uh, 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 and uh, I want to make sure he stays dead. Uh. <laughs> Why? Hey guys, yeah, I'm just gonna look at him and just be like, guys, let let me talk to her. May I may I borrow you outside of this room for a moment? Maxim wants to talk to her. Can it not be said in yes. front of the class? She she shakes her head no. Oh. All right, well, time for you guys to learn some shit. Then, uh, um, um, he's not. He's we we thought so, but. You see, in the middle of all of the shenanigans of us trying to kill him, uh, I accidentally took a trip to the Dream Realm. I became a Dream Knight, and we thought we killed him, but then about a week ago, I had a nightmare. He's still kicking, and he is an asshole. So I'm sorry, but he's not staying dead. What? I'm just going to say that exactly oh. like that. No pauses, no time for people to be like, wait, what the fuck? I didn't get the first part, but why are he still alive? I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Did you say it? I didn't place want to tell you guys because I didn't want you to be concerned, but I couldn't get some air to leave the room, so here we are. Gosh, you must have been really traumatic when you were kidnapped by them, Maxim. You've been having nightmares about them. You know, I, I used to have nightmares when I was just a, a wee bird when I came out of my egg, but, you know, you know, um, I, I used to be afraid of the monsters under the eggshell pieces. They, they, they used to say that they'd come and get you, but, you know, my, my mom told me that nightmares aren't real, so it's all okay. <laughs> I have big dummy brain. Can I insight what she might be trying to mean by that? Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> <laughs> big dummy brain. Uh, personally, I have big dummy brain here. It's like okay. small. Whenever I play, so I'm gonna it's guide. Whenever I play, sorry, go ahead. Um, fourteen. You notice that her wrists have like the the friction marks from being bound. Uh, she like motions. Uh, my my father kept kept me uh, chained up, and used my powers to cast a spell over the island. Shit. Um. You guys don't see here Maxim say anything, but you just kind of feel anger starting to radiate from her general direction. And hmm. would, would you guys want to accompany me into the dream realm so we could kill my father again? <laughs> I'm with you. I don't, I don't know if they are or not, but I'd be going with you just because that was on me to-do list anyway. Can I ask why you want him dead? Is it revenge? Or fear? I don't want the possibility of this happening again. The dream magic shouldn't be used to repress memories and take them away. It should be used to remember those memories and relish in those victories and think back to those losses. Does it matter where we enter this myst magical mystery dreamland from? I can take you myself. It's no worries. Oh, so if we if we bring you with us wherever we go, we have access. She will nod her head like an excited child. Yep. <sighs> Do you want to go on adventures? She, she literally does the pog face. Adventures. <laughs> I, I look to I look to the captain. Captain, I think we've got an eager crew crewmate. Um, um, Samara, how old are you? I am twenty-three. 
That's like, I, I tell him to rouse, like, bro, that's almost double my age. You guys will hear Maxim mumble something under her breath. I'm gonna make you roll for it if you want to know what. She is, uh, I should, she's an elf, so she's 23 in human years. Oh, okay, she's a child. Never mind. <laughs> No, 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 That's no. That's an actual no. child. She's 23 in human years, not 23 in elf years. Oh, 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 oh. So she's like, uh, well, she, she oh, has a last name. Oh, you mean her relative, her age relative to a human yeah, is yes. 23. Yes. Yes. And then she would be like, you know, which would probably be like a little, Hun like a bit over 100 for an elf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Her oh, and okay. Gallant are around the same age. Okay. I thought he was 30-something in human years. Ooh. I don't think so. Yeah, oh? we, we agreed on that, remember? Oh. Uh, yeah, he could be around 30. No problem. Uh, hey, none mm -hmm. of us can keep our lore straight. <laughs> uh, hey, I know I'm 12 years old. I know how old I am. I don't remember how old I am. I know you're not sure. Gallant is supposed to be older than Rao. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, but Rao is older than Lorelei because mommy. And Rao's older than Lorelei because mommy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lorelei's literally mommy. <laughs> Gala is older than Fee, and she's supposed to be in her 20s by now in elf years. I'm 19. Mm. High five. I think Maxim is like, I think Maxim is like, it was like 22. 21, 22. Do you see why Rao Panic is such a good emote now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with a bunch of children! L literal teenagers. <laughs> teenagers with attitude. But yeah, the, you know, the, at that age, they're more than qualified to be a pirate. <laughs> so, so man, how urgent is this? So long as it gets done, I don't mind. Are you safe? Nod. <laughs> the, the, I can't imagine a single place, um, apart from being with us friends here, that could be safer. <laughs> you said it. Yeah. What about your mother? Does your mother need to come? Oh. <laughs> Do I need to call your mother? <laughs> No, I mean, it's like if, no, no, if, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> if not, we know someone who likes to adopt. Oh. Oh. Um. I was wondering if we needed to save another person. That's why I was asking. <laughs> Did they? You know what? I won't ask more. Um. Uh. Oh, we have a ship. Understood. We can we can sail. Well then, all right. Anyway, welcome aboard. <laughs> um... <laughs> I, I I go to give Samira a high five with the mage hand. Oh, as uh, as I you give her as you give her a high five, you see her. You see she has the thousand yard stare again. Oh, okay. I thought she was gonna leave me hanging because I wouldn't have given up. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting there. With I yeah, I would have kept it hovering. <laughs> it's sitting there, menacingly, uh, menacingly. Samira. Yeah. He's, he's just standing there, <laughs> menacingly. Lorelai's just gonna like pick up, pick up, uh, Biscuit and like hold him like underneath his arm, so he just kind of looks long, <laughs> like <laughs> slinky mode. Like yeah, like muscle. slinky mode. Yeah, like the fucking uh, oh. cat dream maiden that Was, knighted me. Yeah. Did I zone out again? Yes. I do uh, yeah, that a lot. Good. That's a okay. Lot. A lot of us forget what's happening anyway. You said you're you're a bunch of sailors and seamen. 
<laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> Oi. Uh, yeah, uh, I'd say that's an apt description. Admittedly, there's more women than men among us, but, you know. I was about to say we've added another female to the crew. <laughs> I, would, I, I was thinking it. I wasn't gonna say it. I would. I the would love to join grows. you guys. Hmm. The harem expands one. ever farther. Another one, and another one, and another, another one, another one, and bites another the dust. one. And, and it's always bam, some bam, elf bam, bam, try. Bam, 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 bam. Raise, raise oh. your hand. <laughs> raise your hands if you don't have knife ears. I put my I put my my wing up. I look around. I, oh huh? shit! I guess technically, do given Maxim's have... design, I do. Anyone with that? No, but mine are. Anyone without sharp ears? Huh? Mine are kind of fluffy. I don't know if that counts. <laughs> what do you have against Ra knife ears, Barrett? Ra reaches over to pet your ears to see if they count. <laughs> They're pretty fluffy. They kind of like just move along with. Like when she puts her goggles on, they're like shoved down to the side of her face. Like, <laughs> Stapled flat. <laughs> it's like it's like in the freaking Robin Hood movie where <laughs> Prince John has to like have his ears out flat in order the crown to actually fit on his head. <laughs> I imagine you have like little cheek protectors. <laughs> oh, it's wholesome. Um but yeah, um, as, as long as you recognize Mr. Captain Gallant as as a real good friend, you're a friend of ours. <laughs> He's a good friend already. Fabulous. And that's all we can ask. I don't even think he said anything to her. I think it's mostly just been us. Mm, yep, no, he's a good friend. Um, <laughs> Captain, are you... Hello? You see, you see that Gallant has a stern expression on his face and... Although she's not looking at him, he's looking at her and just kind of like thinking. I thought we get, I thought we got him. Fuck. Well, I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want it to be a concern, but I guess we're all in for it now. Hmm. Well, uh. Captain. Well. If he if he keeps I if would. he keeps getting around, he's gonna cause more problems. Do we know if he's? I I think he I think he wants me in particular. I think I kind of made it personal when I stabbed him in the head. Hmm. Do, do we know if he'd be in some sort of weakened state from? You know, he did get severely injured. I can't imagine he can just bounce back. Well, that's the problem. I think he might have been resurrected as a nightmare. Yeah, that uh, that stands to reason with what I know about him when I saw him in my dreams. And nightmares are led by the king of nightmares, Apollo. He's a nasty man. Sounds like a real arsehole. Is that the dude I met? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh. A whisper. Mm -hmm. I don't like him. Who are you whispering to? Barrett. Um, she's, she's gonna do it telepathically, but whispery. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say like, <laughs> uh, it's about you. Do, you don't like him, Tom. You don't like him. <laughs> Mind speech. Mind speech. That tickles. <laughs> I don't. I don't think we're supposed to whisper. <laughs> I think it's triggering my ASMR. <clears throat> uh, we are a bunch of idiots, but I love you all. <laughs> That's out of character. Well, it um, sounds like you can kind of chill with us for a bit, and we're trying to figure out where to go. <laughs> we're not really sure yet, but that definitely needs to be handled. I, yeah. I somehow accidentally opened up Fee's character sheet oh. while I was dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, um, Samira, if you're part of the crew, feel- feel free to stay at the table. Hey, hey, you can come over here and sit next to me if you want. Yeah, sit next to Maxim, then we can call in the next person. <laughs> oh? 
Ooh, well, what was that? New I, I like what? That. That's cool. Oh, that's so that's... awesome. New party what? member. What, what's everyone seeing that I'm not? <laughs> it, it, was, it was a big banner that was like, Samira Hildurin. That one. That's the one. It just that's... comes up on my screen. <laughs> uh, so Samira Hildurin joins the fight. Samira uh, inches over to Maxim and she lays her head on your shoulder. She feels safe in your presence. Maxim looks like it, it, to, to like someone that knows Maxim. She looks uncomfortable, but she's not going to try and fight it. All right. It's like, oh, oh, physical affection. Oh, that's weird. Oh, <laughs> now I get to play. hug me for 15 seconds. Now I get to play this character. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just like kind of awkwardly put an arm around her. I, the reason I say it like that is that's what Maxim looks like as she does it. All right, Jagan, can you bring in the next one? Already on it. This one's uh a little weird. <laughs> oh, lovely. The fifth right in. I can't be that bad. And you see a small goblin salesman walk into the room. <gasps> Small friend. <laughs> oh god, it has fee music. Oh god. <laughs> Guys, I don't think I can see him yet. Is he too small? <laughs> Please sell me a scam. It's like microscopic. Hey, hey, may I interject for a moment to tell you guys something funny? Go on. Oh, that's it. Um, I have a friend who's watching the stream and he's been DMing me his thoughts like while watching it oh, And he gee, just man. sent me dream lesbians. Let's go <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it is pride month <laughs> right. It is man. pride month <laughs> It's me the meat man <laughs> So his name is uh, his name is Maltherius Ever Alton Terse Also known as the meat man Hey, is this the one star made? No Okay. <laughs> I saw that dimension. I just, I just thought. Hello, it's me, the meat man. Hi, meat man. He's gonna step yes. up onto the table. Oh, uh, okay. Hello, 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 fr hello friend. It's hello. nice to meet hello. you. Can I water blast him? Can I like shoot water at him to make him get off the table? Sure. Uh, make me a yeah, dex. Like, uh, get, get off of the table. <laughs> vine I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy the water before it hits him. All right. You watch as you send a water bolt out. Uh, Ira cast dispel magic, and the magic is dispelled. You don't have to spell, but. I, I, I create destroy water is what is what I was aiming for. Okay. I don't know if it's even possible to do that. Yeah, it's fine. Um. Um. Oh. Hold on. Do I know that was our, Ira that did that? Our, yeah, she made it obvious. He's our guest. Yes, but it's on the table. He don't need to on the table. Maxim, don't I, be so rude to the I'm, guest. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing it so I could be eye level with you, all right? Shut the fuck up. Oh. Uh, don't you tell me to shut the fuck up. Hello, I'm Malthurious Ever Alton Tess, also known as the Meat Man. Kind of like spits out a spits out a little bit of hair onto the floor. He takes out a uh, cigarette. <laughs> he lights it with his goatee. I, I I would at the moment he like goes to light the cigarette. I want to look at Ira just like you you did this. Just like this is on you now. She'll smile back. <laughs> uh, it's it's very nice to meet you, Mister um, Maltese Alton Towers. Uh... Nice. Nice to meet you too, little bird. <coughs> yeah. All right, it is. So, what you here for, Mister Meatman? The meat man. The meat man sells information. I can get you. I can get you anything for a price. What kind of information? Anything. Anything you need. <coughs> You notice that uh, the meat man is wearing very elegant clothes for a goblin. Either he stole them, made them, made them himself, or stole them. That's a good question. Uh, 
Where'd you get those? <laughs> Wait, was that all of them? Made them and sold them. I was about to say, when two of those options the same? <laughs> I, I bought them. I, I bought them from a guy in Navajo. All right. Who are you, the fucking feds? Can I inside that? Yes, you can. <gasps> I would also like to inside that. It checks out. Okie dokie. <laughs> um. Much better. Ooh. Oh no, that was Lorelei that did it. Yep. He. <laughs> I also don't know. <laughs> he probably made them. On a 16, he. You get the sense uh -huh. that this guy has many talents, and he more than likely made his clothes. Okay. Lorelei's uh, just gonna. The craftsmanship is amazing. I know. I stole them from a bloke in Alvahol. I would fucking uh... know. <laughs> and he smiles, and his teeth are all are all gnawed and like sharp. And there's like one golden tooth all the way in the back. <clears throat> uh, do you notice his tongue is tattooed? Uh, it what says is? Meat Man on his tongue. <laughs> and his tongue is like that. His, his tongue is like the kiss tongue. It's like the kiss tongue where like just kind of rolls out, rolls out of his mouth. Uh. All right. So I, I got, I got you some information. Turns out, Wait, Alvin one Holt. moment. Wait, one um, moment. All right. All right. She's gonna raise her, get him on the table. She's gonna sit crisscross. I'm gonna put a zone Absolutely. of truth around him. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, hold, hold on. Not the table. What the Wait, I, I can click it. So I know there's yeah, a yeah. save involved. Let me, uh, let me, let me get a soda first because this voice hurts my mind. Oh, I'm gonna pee yeah. then. Okay, take a five minute break. Okay, I'm just gonna check something. Now all of you have to tell the truth. <laughs> oh. What are you talking about? Mm. Look at me, I'm not even in your son of truth. Um, That's true. Ralph Shit. always tells the truth. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I will do my charisma saving throw and then I will go grab a chocolate bar. Oh, that's right. That is a saving throw, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, I was just short! Man, imagine having a plus seven on your saving throw. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Screw you, Baron. You're Not all really my no best idea. friends. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's me, the meat man. I'm here to sell you my finest meat from Alvahol. <laughs> Why are you so far away? Oh, fuck. Oh, he doesn't have any bonuses. <laughs> the salesman doesn't have any points well, of charisma. Actually, hmm. No, for now he doesn't. Okay. Wait, why are we doing a charisma save? <laughs> because we had Zone of Truth cast on us. Oh. So it... Okay. We can only tell the truth unless you pass. <laughs> yeah, high five. <laughs> Seven charisma gank. <laughs> Man, this All right. would be a really All right. bad So he podcast. he failed he failed to save. Now I want you to know. I know exactly if you're telling the truth or not. Wait, I guess he can't tell why. Never mind. I just forgot to say anything. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm pretty sure an effect. Yeah, it says an affected creature knows that they're being. Yeah. They have to yep. <laughs> My bad. Hi. Funny trick you got there. Well, <coughs> a bone plops out of his mouth and onto the table. Oh, oh my no. god. <laughs> Buddy can't lie. Uh, Buddy starts talking in, in common. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy also can't talk. No, he can. Yeah. He just is always choosing not to. He's like, oh god. He just like says out loud to me, like, uh, uh, something along the lines of like, don't worry, Barrett, I won't say anything. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a look at you later. And then Buddy! Uh... <laughs> like, oh. It was vent it was ventriloquism. It was it was me. <laughs> What do you, what do you want to know? 
what you're do you buy? Us, you're about to give us some information. Oh, well, I need, I, I need to know what I need to know. I need to know what to give you information on. Mm. I could just give you general world events. Hmm. Uh, so let me think. Oh God, I'm so bad at these I things. Have, I have something. I want. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. Out. What do you know about the the island? Or it's the island, right? Yep. Mokuhaku. Sonata. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> yeah. Hakuna Matata. Well, what, what, what could you tell us about Mokuhaku? Ah, you want to know about Mokuhaku, eh? Turns out it was a toy village. Pretty close here, actually. Uh, closer to the, uh, to the Euler Federation. Turns out they fucking got murked. They got murked by a whole bunch of fucking weird cultists. Have you ever heard of people called Eternals? Uh, from the no, movies? what's an Eternal? They are these weird skeleton fucks that can rip their skin off. Not from the Marvel Ooh. movies. Turns out there's a there's a bunch of radical groups of them. They usually goes in the that usually goes in the flesh settlements and destroy them. But that is what I've heard. That sounds a little hot. That sounds horrifying. That's what I, that's what I've heard though. It could be a little bit different. They came, they came and went. But I heard they took, they took some valuable things from Mokuhaku. Does yeah, the meat man know a lot? People. Yeah. I can't remember what word you said. That was along the lines of like Eternals. flesh. No, no, the flesh something. Oh, fle uh, flesh. Flesh villages. No, uh, yeah. fle fle fleshers. No, I don't remember what I said. Yeah, I think you just said flesh villages, and I was gonna be like, ah, I see the meat man knows a lot about flesh. <laughs> it's a form of meat. Well, but I, I should preface that is supposedly what they say. It could be anything. I don't know. It could be a fucking dragon. Oh, well, that's a. Well, I don't know. I'm dealing with speculation here, so I guess I can fucking go around your fucking spell, I. Eh? It could be anything for all I know. It could be a dragon. It could be the meat man. That's a lie. He's, he's got under me. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> In the zone of truth. That's a lie. <laughs> so it's kind of slipped up. I thought it was the truth. I'm, I made a mistake. I have to, I have to own up. <laughs> all right. <coughs> Does that answer your question? What were I? <coughs> anything about bees? on Mokuhaku Island. Bees like the, the bug? Yes. Why would I know about bees? Don't worry about it. I mean, there might be a bee colony in Mokuhaku of the beetles. Oh, was this about their libido? The, oh. the beetle, the, the 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 beacon, the bee people. You, 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 you know what? I, what I'm gonna do for shits and giggles? <laughs> I want I want to summon some bees here. <laughs> All right. As you summon bees, he back he jumps the ba he jumps back and uh, like his leg clips the end of the chair. And he falls onto his back. Oh, friend, no. Ow, ah, ah, I'm 13. That's <laughs> old and goblin years. Yeah. And she's going to help him up. Oh, All right, you help him up. Me. They're harmless. <laughs> Just don't bees, piss her off. Bees ain't fucking harmless. Those are unless you make her mad. This is the story. He's like, no, I have a bee allergy. I could go into shock. <laughs> I can't be stunned. Anything else y'all want to know? Actually, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You, you're an owl, ain't you? Uh, uh, no, no, sir. I'm a, I'm, I'm a parrot. You're a what now? I'm a parrot. The fuck's a parrot? It's a bird. 
What are frogs? Frogs? <laughs> I'm referencing that video. Frogs. What are frogs? I just turned my head like an owl, like the, the, the owl head turned. No, I'm a parrot. <laughs> That's that's what mom mommy always used to tell me. <laughs> well, I do have something that might be up your alley. What's your opinions on poaching? <laughs> like a poached egg? Nah, like poaching exotic wildlife. I'm twelve years old. No, I'm not saying I'm not saying for you to go poaching. I'm saying how would you feel about beating up some poachers? Did they do something wrong? Turns out there's this island close by called Moku Haku that has a bunch of <laughs> that, has, that has a that has a bunch of poachers on it. You might want to beat them up or something because they're killing exotic wildlife. They're not killing exotic wildlife. They're killing the chai. Are, are the poachers? Did I stutter? Are, are, the, are the poachers <laughs> eternals? That I don't know. But, uh, you got to admit that chai are kind of exotic. Like holy shit, look at you. Me. You got horns in your head. Mister. Mister. Mr. Meat. got different horns, and she's perfect. <laughs> Mister Meat. Did you... someone call for Mister Meat? I called for Mister Meat, and she like wave her hand in the air. Uh, <laughs> those, those two behind you. Um. The purple and the slight tint of orange one. Um, are they exotic animals to you? You watch as uh, the meat man, the meat man saunters over to Ira and puts his foot, uh, puts his like nasty, crusty ass foot on the plate. You probably got to get a new one. Ah. Uh... Okay, no one was out there. And he, just... he, he's eye level with you at this rate. Yeah. I do not believe people are exotic wildlife. I just what? had to, to double check. What the fuck <laughs> is? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I thought, um, before you were about to say, I don't think people are exotic heard... wildlife, but I also don't think the chai are people. We heard rumors that there were some issues with. Sorry, Rao, you said that the chai were being killed, right? Just didn't didn't he also just you? say that there were two I, I don't think killed? I don't think Ralph told us anything about her. Oh, thing. you're right. Never mind. Uh, so uh, there. I, so I overstepped then. That's my bad. <laughs> yeah, I I did though. I said that we needed to go help a village of the Chai people. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, no, yeah, you did, didn't you? At the beginning of all this, okay, before we had to try. start talking to people. I've been hearing different things about what's going on over there. I just. That question couldn't really be worked around in any fancy way in my zone of truth, because you seem like a very conniving rapscallion. I had to make sure. Why? Is it because I'm a fucking goblin? Huh? Huh? It's because huh? you're huh? spitting up bones and putting your crusty feet on the plates. I don't mind. But also, I think your name is the mind. Meat Man. Don't you dare make fun no, of me. No, no, my name is Maltherius Ever Alton Terse, yes, also sir. known as the Meat Man. Thank yeah, but you. If you if you came in here and said, hello, friends, my name is Philip the Kind, and I'm an informant, and I have lots of nice information to tell you that'll make you happy, I probably would have been like, oh, hello, Philip the Kind, that's a very nice name. Uh, do you mean no to do us any harm? Sorry, go ahead. That's my bad. Go ahead, what, go ahead. What were you saying, Nedra? I said that I was gonna, like, look at, I was gonna look at you and be like, there's I don't think anyone who would be classified as an informant would ever be labeled the kind. No, Philip the kind? No. And write this down. <laughs> Philip the kind. <clears throat> do you intend to do us any harm, Mr. Meatman? Uh, <laughs> he I, says that out loud. <laughs> I, I, I don't care if you're hurt or not, but I will not put you actively in harm's way. I think we can trust him. Any, uh, all, you know, all, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is that Moku Haku has a exotic birth of 
beautiful birds. And I think it would be interesting if you could save them and give them a little sanctuary here. Oh, oh shit. Oh. I want to make Please tell me that was in character. Please tell me that burp was in character. No, directly no, no, in character. <laughs> no, make it directly to this man's face. Counter his grossness Never. with your own hidden no, grossness. He's too nice. He's Meat Man the Kind. <laughs> he's me. I would never do that to Meat Man the Kind. Who do you think I am? <laughs> I don't like him. Oh. I really, I'm really glad Rouse said earlier, or Sinandra said earlier that. Rao is just gonna make sure that the window was wide open. I have a feeling that'll get some usage here soon. Mm. Um, What's your name? I'm not Anyways, gonna lie. Continue. Um, so far you can't lie. You're in a zone of truth. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, so far Rao doesn't like any of the people we've met. She's like <laughs> sus of everybody. Uh, Samira's right there. <laughs> I don't think she yeah, notices. Yeah, even if some <laughs> she's, she's, wow. she's probably asleep, if I'm honest. Like, uh, she's fine. She's like zoned out, probably. What's my rate? How tall is Samira? Uh, Samira's about six feet. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> she's so much larger than me. Oh, uh, another, <laughs> another <laughs> tall elf. <laughs> Hey guys, you know, you guys, any of you remember how tall Maxim is? Yeah. Five foot even. I'm tiny. I, she, she's trying to lean over and does up to me, and it's just like, this probably looks so awkward. There's a lot of a there's a lot of anger in that tiny form. You, you, have, uh, you have a very <laughs> tall elf draped all over you, basically. Oh, I really shit. do at this point. Like, mm. holy shit. <laughs> One more thing, Mr. Meatman. You said you could get us information, right? Oh, yeah, I could get you information. I could sell you information. And if you get me those birds, I might be, I might be even be able to buy you some building schematics. Wait. I like that. Let's get the uh, birds. Hold on, hold on. What was this about selling birds? No, I wasn't going to sell the birds. You I was said gonna... you want the birds. As, as the offer, I'm saving them for you. To build a sanctuary, an aviary, for you. Oh. Are you, like, living on this island? I mean, the meat man decided, the meat man lives wherever he wants to live. <laughs> I lived in Alverholt before. I've lived in Alverholt. If I've we, also lived in Alverholt. If, if we make you, like, a meat man cave, would you, like, want to live in there? It would be pretty, it would be pretty enticing. It would be pretty enticing. No, it would be good to have someone that we can come to that we can trust. Friend. You want to come to the meat man? Well, I'm sure he'll sell you us guys. good information. You know, just don't you guys. eat anything he offers you. I always... Meat? I always sell good... You always sound good. Shit, I fucking lied. Oh. Hmm. Should I be honest with you guys about something? Oh. Meat Man, Meat Man Cave? Like, Meat Man Cave? Sounds like the name of somebody's, like, gay sex dungeon. Jesus nice. Christ. <laughs> During Pride Month. <laughs> Whoa. So, um, your rate for these schematics is to save these birds, right? Oi, I can give you a little money too if you want them. I like money. So... You don't like money. <clears throat> so? I'm not gonna get your hopes up, but I'm kind of getting the feeling that we're headed that direction anyways. Are we so... Oh, I my... wonderful, wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'll do my best to save the birds. I like birds. I'm bird. Evil. Row whistles. Evil, oh. stand up. So it um, is a deal, eh? Are you, are you going to sponsor us? Sponsor. <laughs> Oi, are you talking about like NordVPN, the best kind of VPN service? 
No, no more like a... I don't, I don't think we're currently at that level. More like the, uh, we would like the the free trial of Meat Man. No, no, Have you heard of this sanctuary. game called Toontown Online? We are spawn. <laughs> <laughs> is that even still a thing? I don't understand what you're saying. What What is this online? Oh, it's like um, you uh, you, you know you know like um, a line like that when you get on it. I was I was thinking is it, more. Is it like a line of rope? Do you do you draw the line? You can what, what, you can go in any type of line. If you go to alcohol, there are a lot of lines. A lot of. A lot of lines. A lot, a lot of lines. Good lines too. Oh, we're getting off topic. We were already planning. It's kind of dangerous to be hopping on a line. I feel like it could break out from under you. Um. Rao, I know you're concerned about that village. Do you, do you see any problem with doing this at the same time, trying to save some birds? Uh. Oh. No, I don't think so. If we're going in the same direction, it... get, save the village, kick the poachers out, everything's fine. So, 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 so we're gonna take another island. I, I don't Not... know if "takes" the right word. Do we know? Territory. Do we know if we can pick up islands? Yeah, you can if no one's claimed it. No, I mean like. Pick it's always good to, ex We're gonna, it's always gonna good take to expand up the island and push it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know I if you guys uh, so much. Gallant will. I don't know if that's a really good idea. We don't even have the people to have a second island. But the, the, na island the nation might already of belong to the Dachai village. The nation of Ireland doesn't sound like a bad idea. Overextension is one of the greatest downfalls to great nations. I think caution is best. I never go down. I only go up. It's an upfall. I believe it. Oh, I'm so sorry, <laughs> Lorelei. <laughs> that, poor, that poor woman. <laughs> um. uh, meat man, she'll extend her hand in his direction. Not phased by the ickiness. He will spit on his hand. <laughs> It's a deal. And then shake uh, Yes! The meat man made a deal. The meat man made a deal. And he'll waddle off. I truly believe that he is a gnome in disguise. Oh god, does anyone know press digitations? <laughs> I, I no, thought you no, did. No, I don't. Come here. I, I, I can literally make energy. water appear. Come here. Let me wash your hands. Oh god. I, I want to I wanna manifest all of the right water. Now. <laughs> all I want to manifest water. all of the water. Just let her. Let the poor woman wash her hands. Oh, god, thank you. As, uh, as, as you're wondering if anyone knows press digitation, you feel your hand. The, the guck is whipped uh, away off your hand is like whisked away sick um. wait before he walks in <laughs> buddy who taught you common who taught who gonna dispose of the <laughs> who taught who common oh who taught buddy common hey i think buddy's always known common <laughs> Oh, um, wait, I in character, you, I'm sorry. I, I don't idiot. know who Doc says or if he actually um, I, I believe Zone of Truth was cast 22 minutes ago. Damn so, it. Never and it only it's lasts gone. 10. No, you're right, it's 10. I'll get rid of it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our buddy just makes his normal buddy noises. Adorable. I'm gonna sit next to the turkey again. I, 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 it's gone now. This is not here anymore. Uh, you took it. <laughs> just, just throw it out, man. It's gross. Yeah, just chuck, chuck it out, it out the, the window. window. Yeah. Oh, don't throw it at the boy, Trina. Malthus. Thank you for expanding my. It, it cuts off. <laughs> That's what supposed to. It? Knowledge, yeah. knowledge. Uh, okay, okay. Well, hello. I am Malthus, emissary from Ramblebush and the Heroes Front. Hello. It is oh. a pleasure to meet you. The 
Where, I don't know where I don't know where the hell that is, but good major too. Please take a seat. <laughs> I can't handle this song. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, it's, uh, do we need different music from hell, folks? I'm looking. Um. <laughs> Empo, can I just say I love you? <laughs> Thank you. This is, this, is, this is fantastic. Between this and then the freaking playing WarioWare music for the freaking old man on the raft in session one, like, your choice of music is absolutely impeccable. Oh. Um, oh, um, man. He will... He will slowly tiptoe over to the seat, pull it out with a spindly index finger, and then sit back down, put the wa put the little cloth here over his lap. <laughs> Mouth those ready for appointment. Uh. All right, so now what you need? Well, I am the emissary from the Heroes Front located in Ramblebush. I've been sent here by a man known as Korzu Gron. Anyone know him? Uh, what would he roll? Uh, well, question, is. Empo. Isn't where do, would any of us, would me in particular, I guess, would we know where the freaking hero sprung or ramble bush is? That sounds like it's in the hard oak. It's either in the hard oak or in the. Give me history checks. Place. Oh, okay. But I don't know. I, remember, I was like, I remember I read I this in the wiki. I'm about to say, I figure if it's in hard oak, that I'd probably do better on the history check because Can spoilers check on the well? hard oak. From the Hard Oak Confederacy. Uh, yeah, I don't know shit. Can I check it as well? He knows yeah. less than I do somehow. Everyone can. Yes, yeah, history. Oh, okay, Ram does remember. Oh, yeah, 24! Ira's, Ira's the only smart one. Ida, the Heroes Front is an organization of some of the strongest heroes, quote unquote, within the world of Adir. And their mission is to stop the sun from destroying the world. <laughs> now, uh, this requires that... a little bit of delving into lore, deep lore information. So I okay. will sum it up as most as possible. Okay. There is, there is said to be an extra planar threat to the world. And as such, Adala is trying to gain as much power as she can. Adala is one of the triad deities and the creator of the elven people. She is the sun, and how she goes uh, and how she goes by gaining this power is by consuming and absorbing the other gods within the world. So gods like Lolth, uh, gods like Lolth, Go uh, not Goron, um, uh, Drachni, and Yanagu have been consumed by her, and she gains domains and power from those consumptions and the absorptions into her body. The heroes front was formed by some of the strongest heroes of the realm to stop Adala and to put balance back into the world. And their efforts have been pretty good so far. Because of them, they have, awa they have awoken many different suzerain titles. Suzerain titles are primal elemental titles. Think of like Avatar bending in that um, style. One of them, the water suzerain, is the leader of the Heroes Front. And his name is Korzu Gron. Okay. Now, a little bit more about Ramblebush itself. It was originally created as a faux, faux, F-A-U-X, village by the World Archivist. So the World Archivist could study more on this extra planar entity or enemy. However, a group of adventurers took over the village and turned it into a place called Ramblebush. And Ramblebush eventually became the hub where all the heroes interact, commune with one another, and general shenanigans occur. Because, you know... That's where the heroes, crossovers take place, is because, what I'm hearing. you know, heroes love to get into shenanigans. Um, um in yes. that vein, then, um, I know you messaged before about where exactly Ireland is. Mm -hmm. it, I, I believe originally we were saying it was one of the islands near the Heart of Confederacy. Yeah, uh... So, I, I did a little... I did a little DM... DM magic. And we're moving, we're moving the, uh, the Isle of, uh, we're moving the Hard Oak or the Ireland Island a little bit closer to the Hard Oak and more closer to the Isle of Federation rather than where it is because it's in a really weird place where I, 
it's it's it would take you months to travel and i think it would be better to just move it over there because rather than spending eight sessions traveling on a boat we could just take a like one and then finish it then so we're, we're closer to the hard oak now yeah you're moving closer to the hard oak and to the to the uh the western side of the map the okay. southwestern the the bottom left hand corner yeah closer to the Closer to the Tiger Swamp Lands, I guess. Yes. Like in between, in between, do you, like. Do you mind the two. pulling up the world map? I'm sorry. Uh, I can take I'm you to it. Uh, it's one of the Sweet. open maps as well. It's the Vale the Archipelago. I will. Oh, I will. Okay. So originally mm -hmm. you were you were located here, I believe. Yeah. But now okay. we can we can we can move you to like over here. Okay. No, it was originally over here. Oh shit! Did we, yeah. Did we agree on that one? Oh, it was it was this one because it was it was an abnormally large island, but we can uh, we can move it somewhere over here. And ramble, okay, ramble bushes right here. I see it. It's in the hard oak. Okay. Yes, ramble bushes in fact in the hard oak. That's what I was asking earlier, because I figured maybe if it was in the hard oak, maybe I'd do better on history because I'm from there. Yeah. Okay. All right. That answers my questions. Hold on, I gotta put Ireland text. <laughs> Ireland. Let's make our text bigger than all the other unimportant places. Where's Moku Haku? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Moku Haku would be somewhere in between this mass here. Mm. In this sea. It's, it's probably not oh, it's big far. enough to be noted on the map. Yeah, it's probably not big enough. Yeah. This is very good information, though. I'm, like, like y'all may or may not know this about me for my tendency to the maxim. I really like combat, but like, I've been loving like this session and the last session. We've had good like, role play and lore stuff. Yeah. Like, basically, Empo, great job. I love you. It's great. This world is uh, a a giant collaborative <laughs> effort from more than thirty players uh, mm -hmm. over the course of two to three years. So. And now we even have, so we're bringing in old lore back from my old campaigns into the into this world from the actions of like five years ago, uh, which is really which is pretty cool. So there's a chance that we might see some old faces return, perhaps. It was a turtle who died. I won't recognize. <laughs> Not that far back. Can you say what uh, the nice gentleman said one more time? Now that I have this information, uh, he said he is. He said he is an emissary from the Heroes Front. Uh, he was appointed to be the emissary by Korzu Gron. Well, Mathos, how can we help you? Malthos will, uh, almost like reading through a script, will open up a flashy looking book and will begin to uh, flip through the pages. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, Get to that page. That necessary? With every second that passes, Sorry. he's clearing his throat. You guys can see the contempt on Maxim's face just grow, just like... Ugh. <laughs> well, I am here on behalf of the World Archivist, the god of knowledge. Well, let me let me get his actual domains before I fuck that up. Uh, our Ira's was really smart. Uh, yeah. Totally. Uh, the World Archivist is the god of glitches, scribes, and archives. Rhyme. Bars. Hey. Glitches. Bars. <laughs> the World Archivist is a being known to pursue an infinite. Uh, an infinite amount of knowledge and wants to acquire it all for himself. Originally, all this knowledge was located in a place called the Eternal Library, an infinite space, an extra planar area where our scribes could go and learn information in an infinite library. However, due to a catastrophe with the void, the library has become corrupted. We are looking for adventurers to help us go into that library. If you are interested in taking that plunge, 
we will be willing to offer you large sums of gold to help clear it out and learn of this void. How does 5,000 gold pieces sound? <coughs> Wait, what? What? If that is not sufficient, I can talk to the World Archivist about increasing that value. For your lives, it might be put in stake. I'm feeling bribed. That's probably good. I think you should go back and... I think 5,000 is the list because we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 to 15. I don't know. Let them, you see, uh, let them all, let you them all see, does sound nice. You see their pointer finger, their long spindly pointer finger will be wrapped around with white words. World Archivist, they request more money. How much shall we up it by? Does 25,000 gold suffice? Maxim attempts to, like, not, like, choke, just... <coughs> mm. See, that's okay. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's, a fair, that's quite the fair sum, I'd say. <laughs> Alternatively, we could put half of that money into, develop, into the developing this Ireland on behalf of our heroes' front settlers and equipment. Perhaps we can come into some terms of Cooperation. Wow. Uh, Captain, that's a lot of money. That's, that's a lot of gold pieces. I, I, I think yeah. we should just take the 25,000. Yeah. <clears throat> math it, uh, math. Malthos. What you propose yes. is very interesting. Would you mind if we confer with each other for just a moment? Why, of course. You can confer as long as you wish. I believe I am the last person that you will be seeing for some time in regards to jobs offers. So I please, I implore you to take it very, very, very seriously. Oh, of for, course we will. For the Eternal oh. Library is an asset for many people and can be an uh, asset for your group if you wish to learn any information. How urgent does this need to be done? I would say it's not urgent, but think about the knowledge that has been lost and the knowledge that might be lost if the library is completely corrupted. Mm. So please, if you're interested in learning the deep lore of the world, or perhaps expanding your knowledge, it might be of the utmost importance that you get it done as soon as possible. I will bid you all adieu. <clears throat> J just checking my math. We've met the farmer, we met Samira, we met Malphos, and we've met the meat man. Was there not five? We've met four? Well, you said about jobs, so... Oh, uh, you also it's got, like... um, uh, Rao's job as well. Oh, we so... Yeah, oh, right. Earlier, okay. Oh, right, you guys didn't meet the old guy. I would have expected you guys to meet him because she would have brought him back to the mansion. I'm sure you just threw him in a room, bandaged him up to a bed <laughs> so he couldn't move, and just was like, you stay, heal, and then left. Uh, before he leaves. He will mid-walk. How, how can yes. I contact you? I will give you my business card. Oops. And they, they will uh, take out a small little business card and flick it over to you. Thank you. Oh, give me, give me, give me, give me an Arcana check, Ida. You got it. Ooh. Ooh. You get a sense that the the uh, the business card itself is magical, but. Mm. You're not sure what it is. It's a foreign magic to you. Sweet. Can, can, can I touch it, Iro? Sure. She'll hold it with both hands. I, I touch it. Uh, I put it in my beak. <laughs> I, I, I want to. I want to. While this conversation happens, I want to look over to Fee and just be like, hey, hey Fee, you, you all right? I... Uh... 
I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, I did. I with all of the talk at the <laughs> library and void cut up, and I didn't know if like. I didn't. I I didn't know how you would react to that. So I just went to talk. I, uh, I, sir, I would like to go and see it for myself. Well, as, as long as you're on board, then I reckon there ain't no reason we can't. Because honestly, with that type, with that hefty sum of gold pieces, I think the only, I'm pretty sure all the rest of us would be on board. You know, Maxim kind of chuckles as she says it. It's like, <laughs> we're very easily convinced. Captain, what, what do you think? Did you say captain? Yes. He'll scratch his chin. I don't know what the void is, but I don't know what the. Hmm. What is this void, V? You're smart. Mm, can I? Uh. Do some check to at least know what I got from all this tree business in the void. Sure, give me an arcana check. Uh, you'll have a plus five bad. bonus because it's uh, related to the void. You have specialty in the void. So, the void itself is... In your own words, a jarbled mess. It appears to contain elements from all different types of magic and can flow between them seamlessly. While in a voided area, it's completely possible that you walk through a desert, a forest, a tundra, and then another desert in four steps. That's like the best analogy you can give. Confusion and incarnate. The the magic itself doesn't feel like it's from this world. Every time you try to use it, it's almost like your body is fighting against it until it builds that kind of relationship that is like, oh, this won't hurt me or kill me. Okay, so... Personally, I'm quite interested in the, the knowledge aspect of... Well, I, I respect the knowledge, and I'll let y'all have at it. I'm personally it... interested... The, the knowledge I'm more interested in is, is in the math behind the large number of zeros among the gold piece count. The books are interesting, too. I find benefit in both. But it sounded like there wasn't too much of a rush for it, and she'll, like, yank the card out of Barrett's mouth. <laughs> and then we have this way to go. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> Friend! Why? Personally, I think we, we, we should, uh... Hold on. Let's I, I definitely think we should take him up on his offer, but, uh, maybe not immediately. I think we should do the island like, first. I'm on that boat. I agreed. I feel like the I feel like the other island, Haku, Poku, whatever the hell it was. I know I missed it. I know out of character. I know I missed it. I don't care. It's in character. I missed it. Relations with all the Tachai has fallen by two. No. You just like. <laughs> no. Okay. Island first, and then. Yeah, it seems like the island is a lot more pressing matters. This void sounds like what Fee's been looking at. She looks out the window at the tree. Oh, you are right. It does seem a little bit dangerous if it can form trees like that. But what about the watchtower? Do we want to just hire some adventurers to do that for us? We could hire the farmers. Well, given what Ira said about it, it seemed like it'd be a bit unsafe to just send some untrained farmhands. Well, but if if Jagan, Harless, and Frero were there, I would feel a lot more safe. Yeah. Well, it'd be kind of hard to send uh, Frero and Harless because they don't speak common. So, if it, 
So Ira and I would also have to be there to translate for them. Mm. That's a good point. That's a good point. I, I want to teach how this come, and I just ain't quite had the time to sit down and do it with all the shenanigans we've been going through the past week. Mm. I told Jagan to be careful, and if it got too bad, to leave. And then maybe we could handle it when we get back. We yeah, but you gotta, you gotta think, how long are we gonna be gone on this island adventure? We could come back, and whatever's in that watchtower could have swallowed the island whole for all we know. All right, well, well, well then, well, let's, let's, let's come to a compromise. Let's do the tower first, because it seems like something we could knock out relatively easy. Then we do the island, and then we do the, the library. We jump in steps. I like your thinking. I that sounds like a good idea. I, I don't mean to be a downer towards everyone. I just, you know... Both the island and the watchtower both feel like it, you know, got a bit, of, a little bit of urgency to it. So I don't know, I don't know how to feel about it. Mm. I think with our efficacy of doing things fast and doing things fastly well, I think we will be good. You know what, Catherine? I like your thinking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you to do the thinking. Oh, I don't do the good thinking. I, I give that, uh, I give that to Lorelai. She's good with thinking. Mm -hmm. Well, regardless, I like the plan. So we probably cover the watchtower first, and then hit, then we go swing by the island and do all the things over there, and then we'll see about doing that library after that. I also got to figure out what to do about this refers to the large elf elf just kind of draped over me at the moment because like you know we don't know I don't we don't know if we need to be taking her into no fighting we may have another issue as well uh what issue <laughs> Um, Why are you laughing like that? Uh, Lorelei, are you alright? Well... I haven't really been feeling too great this past week. Why? Are you down? Yeah. How can I make you happy? Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Do I um, need to hit another zombie into space? No, no. Um, I hope I, I hope we don't have no more zombies around the hidden space. If there's more of those on the island. We got another problem as it is. Well, um, you see, <laughs> Lord Lorelei looks down and like holds biscuit and aggressively pets. <laughs> well. Um, this is awkward. <laughs> Lorelei, look, whatever it is, I'm sure it can't be that bad. We're all a crew together. We, we, we've lived together for many months. I'm sure it ain't nothing we can't handle. I, I um, I, I, I may be pregnant. <laughs> Just big old dot dot dot. What's that? <laughs> What's that? Wait, you mean like you you mean like have have a child pregnant? Like you're going to produce offspring? Yes. Wait, wait, you're gonna have a baby? <laughs> How the hell did that happen? Am I gonna uh, need to hit the captain? <laughs> Can you repeat that? What? <laughs> I am with child. You didn't. I, I, I'm just confused, Le like, because I know it does happen. I don't know how it happened. Like, I, they don't, don't tell me. I don't want to know, but why? <laughs> <laughs> I 
literally. It's you. Yeah, I'm going to you be do? a father. <laughs> Captain. Wait, 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 wait. You're having another Barrett? I'm gonna have two. Oh, I'm gonna have. Oh, I'm gonna have two Barretts. Oh, bless his heart, he's an idiot. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cap. Captain, I don't think this is what. I mean, I know Lorelei's half, but I don't think that's what they meant by the birds and the bees. I'm, I'm just confused. <laughs> Gallant will walk over, touch your stomach, and put his ear to the ear to the belly. <laughs> Oh god, he's gonna stab the child! <laughs> he's gonna- he's gonna- I somehow knew you were gonna say something stupid like he's, that. He's gonna, like, shake the stomach. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? I- I'm just gonna fly- I'm gonna fly over and land on, like, Rao's shoulder. <laughs> what the- Yeah, yeah with- with Barrett on Rao's shoulder, Rao's gonna reach over grab Gallant by the back of the shirt and pull him back a little bit. <laughs> whoa, whoa. That, that's not that's not how you treat a pregnant lady. Oh. Wait. Wait, you you're pregnant? What? How? N not me, Lorelei. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, you're actually pregnant? Yes, with your child. You how's it going? It. How, how do you know it's, I'm so confused. You... <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I'm so happy. Hey, hey Cam, you're not the only one. I'm very confused. I, not it, explaining to Gallant. I, I put my mate, I just put, while I'm on the one shoulder, the mage hand is just like, unravels of a shoulder, just like. <sighs> well, being the cleric, uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone turns and faces uh, Ira. <laughs> <laughs> just, no, she just Ra has, has like on one your finger face. on her nose, just like not it. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, I thought like it, Ira, if you were about to explain from from what we've said so far, it seems like Barrett has some understanding, which is horrifying because I'm twelve and you're nineteen, and it seems like we had the most like grasp there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Max. I'm gonna beautiful. say it outright. <laughs> Maxine has never had the talk. She has no idea what any of this is or means or what. Um, she understands the concept of woman give birth to child eventually. Just but, not how how the baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was literally just like, how the fuck did that get in there? Uh, hey, um, yeah. Uh, Samira at the moment. Are they? At, at that bombshell, how are they the doing? Here. She's just smiling. Okay. I'm so, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> and then does she like stare up into space again? Yes. Uh, while well, she's staring up um, into If if you want, I I can go. If you want to no, talk, no, no. As a... you're our, you're our friend. You're part you of the crew stay. now. Yeah, don't you worry about it, Samara. You're you're one of us now. You're you're in it. You're in it with us. You see, she'll walk over and she'll. Uh, veil her her hand in a little bit of purple magic and she'll touch your stomach. Well, it's alive and healthy. Oh. You're gonna be a great mother. <laughs> Lorelei is just panicked. <laughs> uh, I would like to cast a spell on Samira. Dispel? <laughs> no, I'd like to cast a spell. Okay. Uh, I'm just casting Detect Thoughts. I don't think you have to do a save unless I try and investigate Broad deeper, deeper. But 
Yeah, but, uh... I feel like all you're going to hear is elevator music. Yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to see, like, I wanted to know what's going on in their heads. <laughs> like, I feel like she's one of those that just has no thoughts. How does this spell last? A minute? Huh. <laughs> I really wanted to know what was going on in that mind. <laughs> you feel you hear this music in the background? That's probably what's going on in her mind. Cool. Surface level. Sweet. I'm so excited! I always wanted to raise children of my own someday, so I can help you. I'm an only child, so I never really had brothers or sisters. Well, I don't know if I'm an only child, but I was certainly raised an only child. But I do appreciate the Only child gang! <laughs> I, I never had any siblings either that I was ever aware of. Only child gang. <laughs> Only child gang. Now yeah. yeah, the the power the power team here. <laughs> But was Gallant an only child? I remember they. No. I remember in the flash. Well, Elven, fa was, Elven families I, I are wasn't big. There. I must. I remember. I wasn't there during the flashback, but I thought I remembered. Like they talked about his cousins being all great and fancy, and why can't you be like them? But I didn't. I didn't remember the mention of any direct siblings. Elven families are big. Good to know. As this is going on, Rao. That, uh, yes. that, that thing you got from the Tachai, do you ever interact with it? Or you just leave it in your pocket? It's in her pocket. Okie dokie. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Well, now I'm concerned. Okay. Good to know. Uh, like, just, <laughs> she probably won't do anything with it until they get to the island and then She'll probably use it there. Oh, okay. Good. He said good, when good. he's. Yeah. Anyway. But with that, I think that is where we will end today's session of Golden Opportunity. I, I thought we were going to go longer today. This was a bit longer, I think. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. This was this was three hours instead of two and a half. Chock yeah. full of immense. <laughs> Immersive, mind-bending RP. What wouldn't you love in your Dungeons and Dragons game? Yeah, let's Raj. just leave it there with Rao speechless in the real mm. realization that she will have to explain to Gallant exactly what happened and what he did. Yeah. Thank you, you guys. <laughs> but, you know. Oh, you may have to explain to Maxim too because she don't know. Mm. I, I, I think I ain't gonna. I gotta make you do that. Did we decide where we're going? I, I, I think that might be... Uh, we can do that in the RP chat. Yeah, you can do that in the it. RP chat. Yeah, for yeah. sure. But... Um, that would be... Do you know it. what Raoul's vote is? Yeah. Uh, Gallant brought up the idea of going to the Watchtower first and then moving and up. <laughs> yeah. I kind of okay. like that Actually, idea. I was gonna... like uh, I can do it in RP chat later, but... um, I'm assuming that the... Uh, older to chai would get healed and he's not gonna die and maybe we could leave him behind oh yeah yeah you could certainly leave him behind yeah. sensuse he'll be here cool. could we oh, use man. Could, could i spend that five points on that little tiny ingot thing since it sounds like yes you can probably not gonna spend so, these points you are now down to 70 research points bum, and bum, that bum. ingot and that ingot is called mana forge scrap and Manaford Scrap is specifically an ingot that is used for cybernetic enhancements. It is infused with life and death magic so that the removal of these limbs in place of cybernetic enhancements will not kill you and instead will heal you for the damage that the surgery has done for you uh, to your body and your soul. He said Manaforge. Manaforge, yes. 
Gotcha. Make me a hand. Can <laughs> <laughs> I finally get one? I'm a real boy. <laughs> Sign the uh, teeth. It is. Uh, it is. It is. Comp- this is more or less a uh, like an emerging technology in Ukult cybernetics, mm. yeah, but it is it is expanding fast okay. to the point where there are factions of people, not factions, but ideologies of people who want to improve their bodies to such a point where they are no longer considered human and they are machine. Okay. And people are Victor terrified of that. People are terrified yeah. of that concept. Was- yeah, Victor, Victor from League of Legends, got it. Oh, arcane, yeah. But that will be all. Arcane. That'll be all the time we have tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Arcane. Thank you for running an uh, thank you for running an amazing session. I had a great time. Yeah, thanks for playing in our amazing session. I'm, yeah, yeah, you know, for sure. I'm so fun having you as a player. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love being a player. Yeah. I will see you guys Dude, next I week. I bet you are a player. Where yeah, yeah. where we tackle. The Watchtower. Bye-bye. Who watches the Watchtower? Bye.